Il est belle. Hein. Fix our take care of our nature. Folks, what's up? Got a piece of birch here, and we're gonna do some quick spoon carving today. And do a bit of a channel update. Man, I want to make this in one take, but it's difficult. It's difficult for me. So I had a bit of a cold last week. Yeah, Dylan was already convinced I was contaminated. But uh, no worries guys, don't think we should get that uh, hysteric. Have you guys already been prepping? Well, Dylan uh, has been, apparently. <laughs> so, I start here with a flat surface and usually Lately, I've been making my spoons uh, just by eyesight, but uh, I have experienced that they tend to not always be fully symmetrical now when you finish them. So today I use a pencil. Yeah, it's a spoon for the patrons. Of course, spoon carving again on the smooth fixed. Haven't we seen a lot of that lately? But you know, this is more about the channel update, I guess. Okay, but I should focus now a bit. Okay, design, design. Oh, there's the sun. First the middle line. Still a bit crooked. We'll fix that up a bit. You know, it's still a piece of art. It doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly symmetrical. I think that will do. So, channel update, folks. Lately, you have seen our vlog. I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah, it was a different video, a cool one. You had a little sneak peek of some future projects. We are all set to go. This is Tom Tom. And Tom Tom is gonna be of great help to us in the future. See more of that later, later. Next season, probably. And uh, how a day in Ireland looked like this summer. One of our smoothest days this winter. Yes. But the reality is that actually, all we did there in Ireland, I'm back in the Netherlands now, it was actually pretty much more difficult than it looked like. You know, on social media you often uh, see only the positive side but I thought it was also fair to tell you that the reality is not always so good as it looked like there on the floor. Hey, working together with my cousin it tends to be still difficult. We have different approaches to things and it is very difficult to, to uh, you know, get our uh, mindset together and achieve things because we just have a very different lifestyle apparently and that might not look like it and talking about all of this you know thinking back why was it actually so difficult this uh, winter because we we have a good bond so that is not the issue we can go well you know I don't want to go too much into detail into this but I have not always been so happy in Ireland so um, this does have some changes, some impact for me also in the future. But I'm definitely not giving up uh, on this smooth fixed uh, thing. Definitely not. Um, since we didn't finish many of our projects in Ireland, I have to go back because we just didn't get much done uh, this winter. That was also because it didn't go so smooth together with us, but also, you know, didn't had uh, cut his uh, with the ex accident, you know, didn't help us. Anyways, looking at the future, uh, we we make it very positive, guys. We keep it positive. And you know, you saw in this vlog, we have some serious plans for the future. So that is not the issue. We're we're going all in for it. But for at the moment, it does have some changes for me because 
you know what they say about uh, about YouTube you should never do it for the fame or for the views or 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 you think you get rich with it it's more about the process and you know this process I'm worried the most about because over the last year I haven't always liked the process of it and this wasn't really visible I guess in the videos but uh, you know this is something we're working on this is something we're working on but uh, let's let's cut to the point I have a little list here beneath where I should talk about yes sir. Um, so sick plans sick plans still coming in spring smooth secret project I'm skyping a lot now with my cousin in the coming days we're gonna make those plans uh, official and we're gonna think of ways to do things differently so we can be more productive with the both of us and uh, that should be all right but it does make a little change for now because I've realized you know also our views are a bit lacking lately or not really lately but you know in the beginning it went went actually pretty easy for us uh, the smooth fix you know we thought we are already late to the party you know the YouTube uh, uh, starting a YouTube channel that was three years ago um, about three years ago and when we started the first uh, two especially the summer seasons was great success all of those many of those videos have over half a million views but lately it's become a lot harder to get your videos popular on YouTube well that's okay you know you always have to evolve and if you wanna get some more views on YouTube it's really about standing out and that, that's fair enough and there, you know one of the big things is there have been so many new bushcraft channels lately you know if you look at the last two years it's been so booming so many channels raised out of the ground and that's also saying that there is a big target audience so that's that's all great but it does make it harder with so much other uh, bushcraft YouTube to have your videos stand out so um, I really believe in the quality now over quantity uh, previously we thought well you know if you upload uh, keep consistent uploads you know that will gain your views but I think it's more about the quality of the individual video um, you know if one video stands out and uh, YouTube sees uh, the people are reacting well on it then that video will get popular so so it will um, I do realize with all this talking I focus less on my spoon carving it's actually going slower than I I had hoped but you know we take our time we take our time so it does mean that there probably won't be weekly uploads for the coming uh, few uh, weeks but after that we will be back with the biggest sickest project and you have seen previews of that in our uh, in our vlog so so inspiration enough and really I tell you guys I will really go for it again this spring I go back to Ireland in a month I hope that it's still possible then with uh, the corona you know we have to see how this all develops but uh, I'm gonna try and make my way to Ireland again and uh, furthermore we do the bushcraft course together with Dylan that will be a very good challenge for the both of us you know giving a course together you really got to have your things uh, things on point collaborate well with each other so that's, that's interesting that's interesting yeah that'd be the, the Celt bushcraft course uh, you can uh, look, find more information in the links uh, here below wherever furthermore we also try to be at the bushcraft show in the UK that will be end of May I think the 25th 26th bushcraft show UK if it all continues you know we don't know about the future with the corona but let's not get uh, too worried about it yeah so I was already talking earlier YouTube has just become harder for a video to stand out and let me give you an example of two latest videos which um, we saw in the viewer statistics that you guys really liked it and you watched you know the viewer the view duration is good so that that's a sign that it is a good video and you guys been enthusiastic in the comments that is our canoe trip and our uh, shelter battle video yeah okay so 
what is lacking here is that the, the click-through rate of those uh, videos is actually way too low and sometimes that is a bit uh, a bit uh, hard you know you make you make put so much effort in a video and the video can be very good but then still you know if people don't click on it it's not worth it you know and that's all fair enough you know YouTube has many uh, videos to preview so you know you have to have an attractive title and thumbnail so it's also something you guys can help us what do you think we can improve to the thumbnails because these thumbnails have really not been so clickable you know compared to even other videos or of us or and I, I, I don't really understand why because I thought it was actually quite a good thumbnail but that's where your help comes in and we really appreciate that oh man it's hard to focus on this spoon carving now with all this talking maybe I can use my saw to speeden up the process yeah I haven't replaced my silky blade yet that happened in the in this that shelter battle video it's still great all of you folks who support us also the patrons of course we're making a spoon now for our smoothest of all patrons but uh, you know that's a great way of supporting us and since I'm done with study now I have to decide what I'm gonna do you know R because right now you know all I do is really the YouTube and some little side project yes this is a nice challenge guys this is a nice challenge but I, I cut too much in here for my likings but it might be an, just 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 enough to save it So yeah, in the coming weeks there won't be uh, every week weekly uploads and especially for that maybe it would be great if you guys uh, would turn on that notification bell so when we're actually back you know that we're back you know. So uh, hit that bell and that, that, that should really help us you know get the views again when we're back. But on the other hand you know we shouldn't as being a YouTuber you shouldn't all focus on the views you know. But I think gratitude is, is an important thing you should always be grateful for what you have and you know we should be grateful for the nice channel and all the good feedback we had over the years that, that is very much appreciated and it's brought us a lot you know experiences and everything so so no negativeness on that um, yeah what have we else I think I should just focus on this spoon more than rambling all about nonsense on the channel. Yeah, so th that's the essential. Please support us on Patreon if you like this project because I'm a bit financially dependent now on on this YouTube, you know. Or I should make other choices in my life. So th that's the big choice I have in the coming week. But it's not rhyme for money, not at all. We just uh, um, we just bringing you up to date about uh, things. What is going on? Of course, what I forgot that today again is my gloves. It's a bit typical, huh? Like that. Okay, I think it's time for the knife. What is the knife? Beavercraft 2 uh, set. Still very happy with it. You send it to us for free. Test it out. We really can rock recommend it. It's cheaper than a Mora set. Good quality. 
But more, uh, it's, 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 it's very uh, a good option as well. Okay, we start rounding in. It better be damn time. Ooh, that wood is soft, nice one. Windy and chilly. Spoons are done, made another one, and these are for the smoothest of all patrons. Thanks a lot, folks, for being our patron. And these specific spoons are for uh, Anthony Foster and Zach Oberland. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also Brenda McCullum. She deserved also a spoon, but she said, No, I don't need a spoon. I'm happy with just the videos. Yes, folks, thanks a lot for the support on Patreon. It's much, much appreciated. And, uh, you know, uh, check it out. Maybe there's something uh, for you there. We also have some exclusive uh, video content. It's not like we put videos on a paywall, but it's just some extras, you know? Some extras. Like, in Switzerland, I started carving a kuksa, and actually, this week, there was supposed to be this week's video, but. Since the kuksa wasn't done in Switzerland and I uh, went home again, wanted to finish it, but then, you know, being this massive solid piece of wood, it started already cracking. So that will have to be Oopla. a new project on that soon. But uh, you can check this out on Patreon, the process of making the start. And it's actually pretty fun, you know, in the mountains with our friend Pierre. Folks, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and all your support. Even if you don't support us on Patreon, it's much appreciated to uh, you just watch our videos and uh, watch uh, watch them all you know <laughs> yeah I'm really getting chilly that is not good for our health these days guys okay packing up and I see you guys on the next one we will be back with Dylan in the spring with some really cool content and before that I'm sure I post a few videos on this and that and maybe some re-uploads we have a flagged video and I think I'm gonna re-upload that one. So stay tuned for that, please watch that. That is much appreciated support for this channel. And uh, then we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot folks, peace out, take care, smooth fixed, bye bye.